Hello? Hello? Uh, hi, is this Roy Co. Trucking? Uh, no. No! No! Uh, fuck you. Fuck you. How you doing? Shit, shit. I am the Easter Bunny. Shit, shit. Well, where, where, where? No, you're not. Whoa. Shit, fuck. Well, because you're not? Fuck. Oh, Lord. You get off of my phone. My mother is retarded. Oh, I see. Yeah. Supervisor immediately. I don't give a shit what other people do. Well, 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 we know that that's not good business. You, you bring it to our house. You throw the box on side the road. It's on side the road. No, side no. the road. What is this bullshit? I'm sick of your bullshit. I'm hanging up. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. But thank, okay. Thank, thank, Sorry. Thanks thank for, you. Thanks for being uh-huh. an unhelpful cunt. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Is Mary Brown? It's time to business. Hey everybody, this is the Snowplow Show, episode 787. I'm your host, Brad, and today's show is sponsored by Basket of Grapes, Despicable Dogs, ZTK, Synthhead, and Cody No Name. Those are a few of the sponsors over on Patreon. Today we've got a great show planned. We're going to call up elderly people and convince them that their shoes have anti-fall technology and try to get them to fall down the stairs. Because they think it'll be impossible to fall, you see? This is going to be great. Let's get started. Greetings, listener. I'm Mr. Biggs, and you've tuned in to the Snowplow Show on the Phone Losers of America Radio Network. Playing the best pranks of the 80s, 90s, and today. Hey, look at this. I have a list of thrifty nickel ads from Little PP. He didn't send me pictures of the ads. He just typed them out on a Microsoft document for me. Thank you for doing that. This is maybe a dozen numbers or so. Maybe more. It's like two pages. Oh, and uh, he sent this back in September of 2022. So these ads are kind of old. So most of them have probably been sold. And I can just say I'm the one that bought it, maybe. Here's a black kitchen hutch for sale. I don't know what that is. I just know it's six foot tall and it's 26 inches wide and it's $40. You can leave your message after the beep. Thank you. Hello, it's me. It's your neighbor. Hello, are you home? Uh, oh boy. You're not there. Come on, pick up, pick up. Pick up, pick up. It's Roy, your neighbor. I'm down the street, you know, the blue house. Hello. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello? Oh my Hello? goodness, thank God you picked up. What's going on? I was calling about that black kitchen hutch. Black kitchen hutch. Yeah, made out of solid wood. Oh yeah, what about it? Six exactly. Foot, <laughs> six foot tall. Yeah. Um, you remember that thing? Yeah. You still got it? Yes, we do. Oh man, it's been forever. I thought it would have been sold by now. Yeah. Is it still forty dollars? She still going to sell it for forty dollars? No, we're not selling it. Oh. No. Nope. Oh, somehow I know something got messed up. My wife said we're not selling it. But so I, I, I read I, about it in the Thrifty Nickel. Oh, that was a. You read it in the Thrifty Nickel. It's gone, sir. Yeah, okay. sir. Wh- why is why is your oh. wife why is your wife being such a bitch? Hey, listen, I don't appreciate that. So please don't call back. Yeah, but she's right? being like, why is she being like that about it? Because, well. We decided to keep it so, but let's just end the conversation, can, can all right? You, can you be like, honey, don't be such a bitch about it? I guess not. I was not expecting them to still have that thing. How do you change your mind about getting rid of a six-foot-tall kitchen hutch? Whatever that is. Hello. Hello, sir? Yes. Listen here, buddy. I'm calling about your electric weed eater and yard edger. Okay. For $20. For what? For twenty dollars. Oh, I done sold them. I know. I bought it from you. Remember? No, I don't remember that. I well, who'd you sell it to? They what? Who did you sell it to? 
Do you, uh, remember, do you remember who you sold it to? No, not right off hand. Well, then how do you know it wasn't me? I'm the one that bought it. I, I bought your. What was it? I bought your weed eater and your yard edger for twenty dollars. Your electric weed eater and yard edger. Well, I had one, but I was thinking I sold him to my brother-in-law. This is your brother-in-law. They what? This is your brother-in-law. You're not my brother-in-law. Yes. I know what his voice sounds like. Well, no, I, I've got long COVID. So, you know, that's why I sound like this. Look, look, you're, look, look you're here. You're my brother-in-law. Yeah, look here. How come you put a GPS tracker inside this weed eater? Well, I didn't. You must have me confused with someone else. No, because I took it apart because, uh, you know, I was having some problems with it. I just uh, clean, well, clean I it up and fixed I don't, it. I, I, well, listen, bud, I don't know. You got me confused with someone else because I don't know you or anything about you. I don't even know nothing about that type stuff. Well, was, was this GPS tracker in here already when you had it? Well, I didn't know that it did. I don't know why it would have. Why would I've had that edger for over 20 years. Why would anybody be tracking you? Yeah, it was a really old tracker well, from like 20 years ago. Well, I have no clue. I didn't know they existed back then, to be honest with where, you. Where did you buy it from? I bought it from some people in the show and tale in Madisonville, Kentucky, where I live at. Hmm. Actually, that was prior to 1997 because I was with my wife. We got divorced in 97. And I got it while we were still married. So it was prior to 97. That's how long ago that's been. So it must have been your ex-wife that put the GPS tracker inside your weed eater. Well, I don't know why she would have done that for. I mean, that don't make sense to me. like to find out where you're going. Now anyway. Well, I don't want to care anymore. We got divorced in 97. I know, but like this is probably back then. This has probably been, been in there since 97. Well, I know, but the only place I used that weed eater at was at our house. It stayed there all the time. We, I didn't. I'm not a guy that mows yards for money or something like that. She probably just wanted to make sure. Well, I, I don't know. Okay, I really well. had no clue. But I, you must. I, you got me probably said confused with somebody else because I don't even know how you got my name or number because I know I never sold you anything. Oh no, it was in the thrifty nickel, and uh, I called you back then. And I still have your number on my phone because of that. Well, you may have called me about it, but I don't think you come got it from me. Yeah, it's your brother-in-law. Don't you remember me? My brother-in-law lives in Dixon. I'm in Dixon. It don't sound like you, Doris. Why? Why would you say that? It's it's because the, I know how you sound on the phone. But the long COVID, it takes away my accent. Okay. What's your wife's name? Charlie. That's not right. Oh, yes, it is. Your, your wife's name is Charlie. Yeah, I just never told you because that's a man's name. No, my sister's name is Christy, and that's who Doris is married to, my sister. That's why he's my brother-in-law. Oh, sir, I have to go. Yeah, you need to. Oh, you need to go. Why don't you... I was going to make him hang up the phone, but he just did it anyway. Here's two female German shepherds that are eight weeks old for $300. So this was September, October, November, December. Three months ago, so. Hello. Hello. I was calling about those uh, German. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Guess my phone's not working. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Listen here, lady. Turn off your Bluetooth. It's probably because her stupid TV's on so loud that she can't hear me. Hello? Ma'am. Ma'am. I can't hear you. My turn, phone is not working. Turn your stupid TV off then. Leave a message is all I can say. Okay, play a beep for me. How am I supposed to leave a message if she keeps picking up? I was going to let her know that one of my German Shepherds was defective. Hello. Hey, I was calling about that Hutchinson auger. Uh, say that 
that again. I can't hardly hear you. I was calling about the Hutchinson auger. Oh, okay. Um, let me give you my husband's cell phone number, and you call him on his cell phone. Why? What's he doing? Where's he at? I don't know where he's at. Who is this? Uh, this is Gary. It's, I don't know. He went somewhere. Where do you think he went? Why doesn't I he, don't know. Why, why doesn't he tell you? <laughs> well, <laughs> he, goes, he goes more places than one when he leaves here. It's a little suspicious. Okay, what's his phone number? Let's put him on three-way. Uh, two seven. Uh huh. Five. Uh huh. Four five. Okay, four five. Let me add him to the call. He better pick up, cause we got to find out what he's doing, and where where he's at. What's his name? Gene. Okay, maybe he won't pick up my call, cause I'm from out of state. That's probably right. I'm sorry. Ah, shoot. The person you called has a voicemail box. I was going to tell him to include you more and let you know where he, where he goes. Well, do you want me to have him call you when I talk to him? Yeah. Here, let me try him again. He's got to pick up a second time. Maybe, maybe if I spoof your number, he'll pick up thinking it's you. Hello. Hey, Eddie. Albert. Eddie? Is Albert? It? Albert, hey. Where, where, what are you doing right now? I'm over at Livermore getting some stuff from the hardware store. Hmm. Is that code for that you're with another lady right now? I can't understand what you're saying. We're breaking up. I'm not breaking up. Look, sir, is that some kind of a code for where you're with another woman? No. It better not be. Like, what have you been doing all day? Seems mighty suspicious. You're just, I was in on for most of the morning. You been what? I said I was in on for most of the morning. Oh, doing what? I still don't know who you are. Oh, my name's Eddie. I want. I'm interested in that Hutchinson auger. Oh, okay. But I just don't want you to be like you know running around on your wife and you know out there with the other girls and stuff. That's not. No, I don't do that. That's not cool. Yeah, that auger is a good auger. You're not like hanging out at the bar just drinking with the guys, are you? I'm having trouble understanding what you're saying for some reason. Sir, you're not just going out to the bar and hanging out with the other guys, are you? No, I've been working in shop building. Oh, don't lie. Come on, don't lie. No lying to me. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's about 65 feet long, and it's an 8-inch Hutchison. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And it's like $2,000. How much? I think it's in the Thrifty Nickel, it said $2,000. Well, we lowered the price. Oh, cool. So how, how much? Didn't have any calls. Yeah. We'd take a half of that for us. How much? Take a 1000 for us. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I don't want it, though. Like, I, I was never really interested in it. You had not? No, no, I don't want it. Why'd you call me on it? I called to let you know I don't want it. Well, I'll be dang. All right, then. Okay. Well, I mean, don't don't give an attitude with me. Jeez. I don't understand. I don't understand what you're trying to do. I'm just calling to let you know I don't want it. I'm not. I'm not interested. I don't want your darn Hutchinson auger. What would I do with it? Okay, ma'am, he hung up. I I think I don't think he's cheating. Ma'am? Ma'am, I I I don't think he's cheating. He seems like a nice man. Ma'am? Ma'am, Al seems like a nice man. Hello? I can hear you breathing over there. You're breathing very loudly. Okay, I hung up. She's being creepy. She's making it weird. And I couldn't actually hear her breathing. She must have been so uncomfortable listening to that whole call of me messing with her husband. She didn't say anything. 
But she was there the whole time. I could hear her rustling around every once in a while. Here's some excellent guard dogs. Hello. Hey, I was calling about those ex- hey. excellent guard dogs. Do what now? Oh, you heard me, ma'am. I said I was calling about those excellent guard dogs. Yeah. How much are well, they? Well, they're, they're puppy. They're puppies. Oh. I mean, I have puppies for sale. I mean, why do you have so many puppies? Do what? Why do you have so many puppies? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. You're always selling guard dog puppies. Like you're selling some back in in September too. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. I didn't say anything was wrong with that. I'm, no, well, I'm just like, well, wow. You sound like you're, you're running some some sort of puppy mill mill over there. Okay, I got a call back. Not sure who this is. Hello. 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 Roger speaking. Someone called my number. Who who was it? I don't know. This number here. What'd they say? I couldn't hear. My phone wasn't working right. What was wrong with your phone? Wait, what what did you have for sale? Oh, she hung up. What? Let me try it right back. Hello? I can't believe you hung up on me. Well, I don't know. You seem to have an attitude with me, so I, I don't know. I mean, well, let's call about the Wurlitzer Oregon. Hey, I wanted my free Wurlitzer Oregon. I had to scroll up to see what it was that she was selling, so I guess I wasn't quick enough for her. Hello? Hello? I was calling about that shit, shit zoo female. Uh, I I don't have any puppies for sale right now. Oh, oh, I know. I I bought one from you uh, months ago. It it was the one from back in September. Yes. And um, ma'am, this isn't a real dog. This is a toy. Yeah. I started to get suspicious when it wasn't growing up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't appreciate you just selling me a fake toy dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, this is like a robot dog. How how old is she? Uh, well, still ten months old. It's not growing up because you you gave me a toy dog. This this is a synthetic dog. Oh, I didn't give you a synthetic dog. Uh huh. Th- then what is this that's no. here in my living room? I I don't know, honey. Can. You- I'm at the doctor's office. Can you call me back in a couple of hours? I guess. Be... Okay, honey. I'm sorry. That's okay. I just can't talk right now. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Damn it, lady. Why you got to be at the doctor? That was the last one. Oh, wait. No, there's one more last one. But it's just more dogs. Seems like everyone in this town is running a puppy mill. Hello. Listen here, lady. How many of those Aussie doodles you got? Well, I don't have any right now, but I have some Bernie Doodles. Oh, well, I bought those Aussie Doodles from you back in September. Yeah, well, we're waiting on another Hey, shut up, shut up. No, Uh, I was calling you because, like, this one you sold me is a toy. It's not even a real, it's not even a real dog. Okay. What are you trying to pull? What do you want me to do? What are you trying to pull here? Do you want a big one? Well, now I want a real dog. You you got me like a toy dog. Do you want a you want a standard size Aussie Doodle? Yeah, that's what I had before. Okay. Well, no, well, no, ma'am. Uh, I think you're misunderstanding. Time- I'm saying it's a it's a literal toy. It's like from the toy department. It's not a real living dog. Really? Yeah. Why'd you Why'd you give me a toy dog? <laughs> I thought I gave you a real dog. Well, yeah, right, because. I, I think you'd be able to tell, right? You're, you're the professional. So, do you want to come and get another one? You want to trade that one in? Yeah, yeah. I'd like a real living dog for this this stupid broken toy doll I have. Okay. Dog. You didn't think I'd notice when the batteries ran out? <laughs> you, you, t- you fucking bitch. I didn't have batteries in a puppy. Yeah, no, this is a toy puppy, you fucking bitch. I don't sell I don't sell toy puppies. I sell the real ones. Yeah, but this was like a fake synthetic one. Nope, I don't sell them. Yes, you did. You gave me a toy one. You told me it was real. You told me how okay. to take care of it and everything. If you say so.
Well, I don't appreciate it. I'm sorry. Well, thank you for apologizing and admitting okay. admitting that you did the wrong thing, at least. Well, but I, as far as I knew, it was a real dog. Well, the, no, no, it wasn't because you know they they look completely different. It's a toy. It's like plastic and and fake fur. Well, couldn't you tell it? What couldn't you tell? I ain't no professional, ma'am. You're the professional. <laughs> okay. Hey, darn it! Both of those ladies just thought I was funny. I should have asked the doctor's office lady to put the receptionist on so I could confirm that she wasn't lying. Didn't I do that on a hobo sode recently? And she actually did. So thanks for that list, little PP, which was sent back on September 23rd, 2022. Hopefully little PP is still a listener. So I guess I'm just kind of doing requests today. I'm going through the request folder and just pulling out random things. I tried this yesterday, but I tried to do uh, the oldest ones that I had. So they're from way back in 2017, and most of them were not answering the phone. And I just got frustrated and started banging my fist on my desk in anger. And I gave up. Here's a request from Synthhead. He said it's a rude woman at the gas station. She was saying her number out loud to the attendant for her fuel points. I hope this one picks up. This is from June 2022. The number you have dialed is not in service. Gosh darn Please it. Please check the number and try again. Gosh darn it, Synthhead. Lady's probably doing the same thing that I do, using my old cell phone number for all my reward points so I don't get all the spam calls. Here's a list of apartment numbers from Apocalypse. I, I suppose I can call a couple of these, but I mean, this is a huge list. I'm not going to call the whole list today, but I should soon. Creek, this is Jody. How can I help you? Hey, Jody. Uh, I'm a resident here at the these apartment, yeah. apartments. Uh, the roofers are coming over are today. You? They're going to be reshingling my roof. Like just above my unit. Okay, they are. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be putting on wooden shingles. So, uh, can you just, uh, you know, just let them on through? Like, don't try and stop them. They're coming in okay, with the big I'm very, truck. Okay, I'm very, I'm very confused. Um, what is your name? Well, they're going to have like a forklift and like you know a big flat truck and stuff. What is your but, name and your unit? Uh, this is Roy, from two hundred six. Building A or B? B. Okay, is this a roofer, our roofer, or oh, did no, you get a roofer? Oh, no, 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 I just, I, I, I looked them up in the yellow pages, and uh, I just, I oh, want one of those did. those wooden roofs, you know, instead of shingle roofs. Okay. I want, I'm I want, sorry. like, those wooden shingles that <laughs> stand up higher. I think you're, I think, is this a joke? <laughs> oh, no, no, I wouldn't kid, ma'am, I'm a Christian. Okay, um, hold on one second. Um, yeah, I don't have, um, you in that unit. Oh, what do you have there? What is your last name? What last name do you have? What is your last name? Well, ma'am, I wouldn't be in the computer. I just stay on the couch. You what? I just stay on the couch. I pay my rent to, to Eddie. There's no Eddie there in that unit either. So I don't think that's his real name. Because I just call him Windex. Okay. Well, you can't have anything done to the roof. That is um, our building. Okay. Well, um, it's coming. So. Like, they're on their way already. So it's okay. well, a little they're not doing too late. Roof. What? Okay. Bye-bye. Ma'am. Damn it. I want wooden shingles. Let me try another one, I guess. Thank you for calling. This is Martina speaking. How can I help you? Hello. Uh, I'm a resident here at the apartments. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've got some I've got some roofers coming over today. They're gonna rip up all my shingles above my apartment, and they're gonna install mm-hmm. wooden shingles instead. Okay. So um, they said they need your permission. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. So you said it's okay then. A person from Brookside, uh, so he's gonna make have his roof. Um. There's people want to come to fix his roof, and there will be wood shimmers coming down or something like that. So he is going to ask us for permission to do that. He's going to change the type of he has. Okay. The one that says info or the one that doesn't have the info? Nothing. Okay, so to get that permission... And yeah, that, you that'd be fine with me. Just go ahead and, yeah, you can install those shingles. 
Okay, ma'am. Uh, we'll get started up here then. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, hello. Yes. Oh, I, I, uh, so I, I just, uh, I just told them, I told the roofing people that it was okay. I, I pretended I was you. What? Why? I, I pretended. Uh, I, I used my voice changer, and I pretended I was you like this. So they, they said it's fine. They're gonna get started right away. But um, to have the permission, you need to send an email to oh, no. apartments. No, no, they're here now. They're here now, and uh, they're they're coming what? over. They're with the forklift, with all the new wooden shingles on it. He pretended to be me, changed my voice, and said that I said it was okay because the people is already there. So it's not okay. But that's what that's what I told him, and he needs to send the email. Ma'am, ma'am, you're being rude. You're on the phone with me. Hello. Crazy like he used. Did you just call me crazy? It looks like a woman's voice. Did you just call me crazy? Me too. So you gave him the email? Yeah, but he says, "Oh no, they are here. I can send an email. I already told them that he told me it could, because I changed your voice." It's very rude. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. That was rude. Hi. So, um, you have someone changing the roof at your apartment? Oh, not the roof. Just the shingles. They're tearing off the old shingles right now. These old hobo shingles, the ones made out of asphalt. Okay, and Justin sent them? Uh, yes. Okay, so it's not someone that you, you, you brought in. Um, oh, no, it is somebody I brought in. I don't know who Justin is. Yep, I just looked through the yellow pages and found a roofer. And they're only going to replace the shingles right around, right right above my part of the roof. And they say, and what e apartment are you in? They say even though the people on either side of me have those hobo, those hobo asphalt shingles, that my wooden shingles what? won't interfere with any of that. What apartment are you in? Um, I, I don't think that matters. I mean, I'm in building 3176. Okay. Um, so I will let Justin know. It does definitely matter. You can't make changes to the outside of the building. Well, now they have to put them on. They have to put on the wooden shingles because they've already started ripping off the, the well, you, normal... Well, you definitely do not have permission. So, oh, well, they're um, doing it. No. Oh, no, that, that lady before that I talked to, she gave us permission. No, she didn't. I was standing right next to oh, her. Oh, no. No, I heard her. She was like, yeah, no, that, that's fine with me. You can go ahead and uh, put those okay. shingles on. It's fine. That's, well, that's what she, she said. She absolutely did not. Um, I will send someone to come out there right now. So. Oh, we, we've um, already, they've already started you. taking the shingles off, so you need to just leave them alone. You, sir, you do not have permission. Ma'am, ma'am, they're up on the roof. You don't want to make them fall down. Like, you leave them alone. Uh, all right, sir. Well, you do not have permission. You, you tell um, Justin to just, like, go do, do, do something else. <laughs> all right, I will send them there. And we will see what's going on. But she did not give you permission. Oh, yes, she that. did. No, I have a recording of her giving us permission. I, I would like to hear that recording because I also have a recording of her conversation with you. Let's hear so, it. Let's compare mm -hmm. recordings. I'm not going to send you my recording. Oh, you don't even have but, the recording. I didn't mean send it to me. Yes, just uh, play it over the phone. I'm not going to access my cameras right now. But we will send someone out to the apartment. So thank you for calling. Okay, fine. i got to get back to these shingles. There, I re-shingled my roof in my apartment. Thank you, Apocalypse, for sending these numbers back in May of 2022. I've already called up every number on this list because I have a little note next to each number of if they picked up or not. But I got to call them all back one more time, you know. Those two I talked to, they didn't pick up last time. Thank you for calling. And this is Hunter. Hey, is this the apartments? Yes. Okay. Yep. I I'm a resident here. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm up in the attic crawl space, you know, like up in the roof in my building. Um, and there's the, there's some this? sort of a rodent problem up here, I think, because I've been gardening up here for the past year. And something's got up in here and ate a lot of my plants. Um, I'm sorry, who am I speaking with? What apartment are you in? Um, well, I'm in building 5970. I'm not in an apartment right now. And um, you're having an issue with what exactly? Well, I guess it's rodents because, like, I'm up in the attic, you know, up up in there by the roof. You know, up there in the we, roof. 
we don't have um, access to that at our building. Oh, no, I use the ladder, ma'am. Okay. Um, can I put you on hold for just one moment? Why? Yeah, sure, I guess. I don't know. Sounds like you're going to anyway. I just went to the Google Maps and made sure their buildings do have roof access space up there. They do. But I don't see any big vents to crawl into. Hi. Oh, hello? Hi, this is Michelle. Hey, Michelle. I'm a resident here. And there's some sort of a, uh, I don't know, must be some uh, or, or some rats getting up here, or maybe birds. Because I'm up in the okay. attic, attic crawl space, you know, like up, up in the roof, like above the third floor. Are you a resident? Yeah, I'm a resident. And I've been doing gardening up here for about a year now. And something's got up here and eaten a bunch of my plants. Okay, what apartment are you in? I'm not in the apartment. I'm just, I'm up in the roof of building 5970. You're up in the attic? Yeah. Yeah, like I've, I've got How a whole, get- I've got a whole garden up here. I've got LED lights installed and just this, this entire garden space up here in the attic. And uh, something's been coming up here and eating them. So I wanted to let you know, I put uh, some magnets on the uh, access panels on the outside of the building uh, just to kind of hold the door shut better so the rodents won't get in. And there was this one area where I was afraid birds might might have been flying in, so I covered that up with a screen. You're in 5970. You don't live there, you said? Oh, no, I do live here. Oh, what's your apartment number? 305, I think. How do you get up in the attic? Where's the access? Oh, I use the ladder. Uh, there's there's these hex, hexagonal uh, things up on the roof, and uh, I can open those with a screwdriver. So I just have to use All the right. ladder. But, yeah, do you, do you know anything? Like, do you guys have rats, or do you think it's just birds getting up in here and eating all my plants that I have up here? I don't know. But from what you're telling me, I don't think you're supposed to be in there. Well, nobody else is in here, so nobody else is using the space. And I went ahead and wired up the electricity through my ceiling. So I I just, I I drilled a hole through my ceiling and ran the wire down there for all these LED lights, you know, like that are making the plants grow. Yeah. What kind of plants do you have? Oh, you know, this and that. You have weed. What? No, why would you assume that? <laughs> because it's somewhere nobody else gets to. Well, no. I'm sorry. I'm just it's because you guys won't let us okay. garden out in the regular grass, so I'm just gardening up on the roof. All right. Well, I will um, why do you let think maintenance it's, know. Why do you think it's weed, though? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you just making just assumptions? Weird. Let me um, are you saying, let maintenance know and... Are, are, so, you, are, um, are, you, are you saying you want some? What? Are you saying you want some? No, I don't. I'm already crazy enough as it is. Okay. Well. Okay. What was your name? Roy. Roy. What's your last name? Well, what's the, which name do you have on the on the computer? Because I don't remember which ID I used when I um, moved in here. How many last names do you have? Uh, I have a whole envelope full. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'll just have maintenance come out and take a look. Okay. Well, I don't want them coming up here in my garden. This okay. Is, this is my own private, we can do. My private space up here. What's your phone number? My, my, my garden's on top of three different apartments. What's your phone number? Uh, it's on your caller ID. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you for letting us know. Is the owner of the building there? Uh, the owner of the building um, owns like all the properties, so not all of it. Not all of it. Stuff like that. Not, not all of it. Cause my yeah. my grandparents they own a farm here in the neighborhood, and they don't own that. Okay. She doesn't. Okay. She doesn't own all the property. All right, Roy. Well, thank you for letting me know. They have their own farmhouse. Oh, good. I'm well, she she you. doesn't own their farm. She doesn't own their property or their house. No, you're I saying, know that. You're saying she owns all okay. the property. 
the apartment complex. Oh. Okay. Thank you well, for letting us know. And let, let's put her on three way. We'll into- let's call her up. Okay, I have to go now. Okay. But what's her Thank phone you number? For calling. What's her phone number? Bye. What's her phone number? I was gonna stop calling these numbers of apocalypses. I mean, I, I did throw three of them away because they didn't answer. But now the list is so small, I may as well just finish it up because I want to do some attic farming with my non-weed plants. Thank you for calling. This is Rachel. How may I help you? Hey, Rachel. I'm a resident here. At yeah. What's going on? Um. Well, I, some sort of a rodent maybe has gotten into the attic crawl space because, uh, you okay. know, I, I run a garden up there. I've been growing plants and something's got in there and ate up a bunch of my plants. Okay, what is your address? Um, well, it's, it's uh, building 18203. Okay, and then what's the apartment number? 18. But I'm not in the apartment. I'm I'm up in the crawl space. You know, like up in the ceiling, in the roof. Okay, give me one second. Okay, why? What are you doing? Um, do we have permission to enter? Oh, no. Well, I mean, I'm up in the attic, so I don't know if I have to give you permission to come up in the attic. I, I don't know what that means. Oh, you know, like up in the ceiling, uh, I have to get up on a ladder and climb in those little holes, the, those little access panels and the up in the, up by the roof, up, you know, way up there. But I've got a whole garden in there with LED lights, and I've been gardening there for almost a year now, and... I don't know, some kind of rodent got in there, like ate up half my crop. Okay, do you have a phone number that I could reach you at? Yes, it's on your caller ID. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. I will be in touch. Well, wait, why, why are, where are you going? What are you doing? Hey, I love the idea that, like, I don't know, they, they might be checking these attic spaces to make sure there's not some kind of farm going on up there. Because she did sound a little bit panicked, even if she wouldn't talk to me. View property management. This is Sherry. How may I help you? Hey, Sherry. I'm a resident. A, a resident here. Mhm. And uh, you know, I'm up. Oh, in, I'm up in, inside one of the attic crawl spaces right now. Who am I speaking and, with? Uh, this is Roy. Roy. Yep. Roy Zerbel. Last name? Zerbel. And like, I'm up in the attic, you know. And I have a garden up. I have, to, f- I have to find. I have to find your property first. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm on sorry. State Road, you know. Okay, I just need to know which which um what unit. Oh, it doesn't matter. But I, I, like, I'm not in any oh. unit really. I'm up in the attic crawl space, like uh, up above the units. I'm inside the roof. Why are you up? Th- why are you up there? Uh, well, because I've converted the entire attic crawl space into a garden. I'm growing plants up here. I've got LED lights, and uh, you know, I ran the wiring in through my ceiling. It's no big deal. Yeah, but, okay. Um, some rodents got up here and ate ate, about, ate up a bunch of my plants. Okay. So what do we do about and? that? Well, I don't, I don't know. Do you have like some kind of rat problem, or I don't know, squirrels? Not are getting that I up? know of. Could be squirrels. Um, not that I know of. Birds. Um, however, whatever what you're doing is uh, against your lease, so I'm not quite sure what. Uh, what well, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm just, I'm just up here. Accomplish here. I'm just up here farming. You know, I'm just gardening. It's just, you know, something I do. So, like, um, but I don't know. I, I just, I guess, I'm gonna put tighter latches on, on the uh, the access openings up up there by the top of the roof. I my suggestion and, is to not do anything like that whatsoever, and to, and to um, and to get whatever you're doing up there gone because oh no i mean there, there's like i put a only... lot of a lot of lights up here and a lot of you know just like a lot of gardening equipment okay i, I don't I, that'd take forever to get all this out of here okay well um thanks for calling uh why 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 like okay so like you guys aren't going to come up here and like try and bother my plants are you 
Well, if we find out what building you're in, I will guarantee you that someone will be up there. I thought I told you which building I was in. No, you you did it. You just said your name was Roy. Yeah. Well, no, I don't. I, I just uh, I don't know. I th- I was hoping you might have advice about rats, or if you even I know don't have th- any advice about rats. But my advice is to get anything out of there that you have because someone will be coming to check. I've up got on a lot things. of stuff up here, ma'am. I have a lot of. A lot of LED lights. I, I understand that, but but uh, if you signed a lease with us, you signed a lease saying um, that any kind of criminal activity is not allowed, and, and you're criminal not allowed act- to criminal- you're not allowed to go up into an attic. You're certainly not allowed to run any kind of electrical wiring, and you're certainly not allowed to grow plants up in an attic. Well, so uh, what, what that is, is what's illegal about this, though. Nothing's illegal about it. Okay. Well. Okay. Thanks for calling. Which part would be illegal? <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for calling. Man, which part's illegal? It's not illegal to grow plants. I just want them to like demand to know what I'm growing, so I can say it's ferns or something, or I'm growing pumpkins up here. So now they're gonna go out to this property, which looks like it has about seven buildings on it. No, eight buildings, and look up in the roof of each one. Maybe they'll actually find a real grow house with marijuana in it, so they can have their bust that they want so badly. I don't know if that's a legal state or not. I don't think it is. Oh, no, it is now since 2018. Recreational. Thank you for choosing <laughs> apartment homes. Lexi speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Lexi. I'm a tenant at the apartments. And um, part of my floor started caving in. You know, like the concrete was just kind of sinking. Okay. And yeah, we were able to... We were able to kind of like chisel down and and um, open up a an, an entrance, like there there's property underneath the property, you know. Like, are you supposed to have basements here? Because this stuff looks really old down here. No, what's your first name? Roy. But like, uh, we we've managed to access a like a a large network of tunnels underneath the apartment buildings. Um, and this is Lake, so you... Yeah, yeah, I'm Lane. Correct. Yep, that's the one. That's where I live. So... Um, what's your last name? Uh, Gerbel. Can but, you spell that but, for me? Well, I don't need anyone to come over. I was just wondering, like, um, am I going to be able to keep keep my access to this? I'm sorry, wh- what's the address of the apartment? Well, no, I, I just, I, I, I mean, like, will I be able to, because I, I don't, I want to be able to keep going down here. Underneath where the floor opened up. All right, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Just one second. So what exactly is going on again? Oh, can you just repeat it all for me? I don't want to repeat it all. So your floor is caving in? Yeah, well, no, it, it caved in a little bit, and then we opened it up, and there's actually tunnels underneath the apartments, like a large, intricate network of tunnels. And they they go beyond the property, even they go across the street, underneath that that factory. Okay. So I I just um I I don't I don't want you guys to block off my access. I'm gonna go ahead and build a staircase that goes down there. And just keep using it as extra square footage for my apartment. You know, it's really rude of you guys to put me on speaker so you can hear me, but then you're over there whispering and pretending I'm not here. Like other person, the other person listening, you're being kind of an asshole. Not chiming I would in. I to come over and check that out. Well, no, no, I don't want anyone coming over and checking out my tunnel, because uh, I'm impl- I'm applying for ownership rights with the county. Okay, was well, there a fo- um, like a follow up phone number where I can have our property manager reach out? No, no. Like I noticed you didn't address the the whole thing with you putting me on speaker and then the other person just whispering. And treat me yeah, like, like I need kind of like not I need a human. to get our maintenance involved. I'm sorry about that. You're not you're not really treating me like a fellow human being there. Asshole. Um, let's see. Bitch. 
Ho. There, she hung up. I was just trying to get rid of her at that point. I don't seem to be reaching the people that are in charge. I'm just reaching the young office worker who doesn't care about my floor cave in. You've reached the voicemail box of Village Apartments. Current. That was the very last one on the list. So I guess I can delete this list from Apocalypse from back in May. Thank you, Apocalypse, for sending that in. I'm glad I finally got to use it. Here's one that could be fun. It's from Anime Girl 304. And she says, this old man called my job saying that his dishwasher is not working because it has a bad smell and saying it's a health department hazard. And I replied that my job has nothing to do about apartment buildings. Well, that was rude. Anime Girl 304. What are you being so rude for? Anyway, I'm going to call up this guy and tell him he needs to replace his damn dishwasher because it's old and dirty. Hello. Hello, Charles. Yes. Hey, it, it's uh, Steve Dave down here at the office with the apartments. Yes. Hey, your your dishwasher, it's kind of old and ugly and stuff. Do you think you could take that out and maybe buy a new one? Because, uh, I mean, really, I that, got come that, that thing's I've a... I've got it. No, I'll go ahead. I've got I've, I've got it working. I had a... I paid a guy to come over and fix it. Yeah, but it, it's, just, it it's just kind of old and... Like, it's not energy efficient. Can you just get rid of that thing? Just buy yourself a new one, okay? You want me to buy one? Yeah, can you just go out there, and might, like maybe uh, this week, get out there and buy a new one? And, and th- just throw this one in the dumpster. Uh, am I going to have to pay for it? Yes. I don't think so. Why not? Why don't you just pay for Why it? Why should I? Well, you're the one that's going to use it. I'm renting. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, if you want to dishwash. Who are you? Uh, this is Steve Dave at, at the office, you know? I don't know who you are, man. Well, listen here, buddy. What, what was wrong with the dishwasher? I don't know who you are, man. Well, who, who fixed it? What was the guy's name? Uh, that's none of your business. I paid him to fix it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, you don't have to be a dick about it. I was just asking. Because, you know, I, I know a lot of dishwasher repair. Well, you guys wouldn't fix it. I, I you know. know I, I called the office and said I have a health hazard, which I did. What kind of health hazard? The lady up there, whatever she is. Said, wow. Well, you know, I'll hey. try to get to it Hey, what, what's that supposed okay. to mean, sir? Whatever she is? Whatever she is, I don't like her, and she don't like me, okay? Well, maybe you should have had such an attitude. Well, she's got a real attitude, Bubba. Well, I don't even know what you're talking about, but I'm just saying I'm here about. in the apartment office. I don't even know who you are. Look here, buddy. You need to go out and buy a new dishwasher. You kiss my ass, dude. How's hey, that? Hey, don't don't you tell me to kiss your ass, because I might do kiss it. Kiss my ass, dude. Or I, I might, don't even know who the hell you are. I might come don't over and do me. it. I might come over and... Oh, shit, anime girl. I think maybe he was talking about you. He doesn't like you, possibly. I'm sorry. I was getting a little bit too close to your job there, I think, maybe, with that call. I wanted to keep asking him about you, assuming that's you, but I didn't want him to think that you're involved in this prank call, so I stopped doing that. Okay, before we end today's show, I want to do some number changes, because those are usually fun. So let me do a search in my email directory on phone number change. Here's one from Zach. Wait, no, it's from the sign guy. He wants me to prank Zach, who is recruiting for his fraternity. He wants me to change his number to a local area code instead of where he lives when he's not in college, which is a whole state away. You can't do that. You can't just take your phone number to another whole state, use it over there. What's he trying to pull? Hello? Hello, Zach? Hey, this is Zach, yeah. Sorry hey. about that. Oh, no problem. I was trying to call in. I, we must have had connection problems. Uh, I'm calling from T-Mobile. Yeah. Uh, we're just we're going to be changing okay. your phone number today. Oh, uh, you're going to change my phone number? Yeah, this 4859 number. We've got to change that to a, a brand new phone number. Okay. I, we have to? Well, uh, your phone number is in the 708 area code, and our records are showing that you're living in the 573 now. Um, well, I'm just going to college down there. Okay. Uh, do you have a pen or a pencil to write down your new phone number? 
I guess I do. Okay. Does I really have to change it? Just because that's kind of annoying. Is it like a required thing? Well, I just prefer it because um, I'm just I'm kind of an, one of those numbers guys, and if the numbers don't match up, it just it kind of eats at me, and I'll be up late thinking about it. So like, I mean, I mean, I get that, but now I have to tell like everyone I know to change the phone number they have for me and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, so you'll be able to contact and a I'm bunch of old friends. In, I'm only going to be in Missouri for a couple of years, and then I'm going to go back to Illinois in, in the same area. Why don't you just go to college in Illinois? Because uh, Illinois colleges are expensive. It is cheaper to go to college in Missouri. Well, you know, you can probably get what you pay for. No, not in Illinois. I don't know why I'll you're you talking much. to me about this stuff. Do you have a pen or a pencil? Because I have your new phone number here, and I'm going to set your 49 number up to be a disconnected recording. And hopefully, okay. you know, hopefully a local person in Chicago can get that number. Because we're running out of those 708 numbers. That's prime downtown real estate, you know? I get that. But I just want to make sure this is a required thing. Well, it's not required. It's just that uh, it just bothers me personally. And I'm the one that, uh, I'm the primary caretaker of your account. And I don't know, it just really bugs me because I see this Illinois address here on your account. But then uh, the, the GPS says you're always in Missouri. Yeah, because I'm there for college. I just if this if this isn't required, I just don't see much of a gain. I understand that it just kind of bugs you to see it on your list of things, but well, it seems a little sketchy. It seems a little bit sketchy that you're 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 having an out of state phone number. Like, what are you doing with it? Like, what are you trying to pull? I'm I'm going to college. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just I don't see what I gain from doing this. I understand that it's helpful to you, but this is going to be a good amount of time spent for me texting all these people that I have a new phone number. Well, don't call them people. Along you know, with they're, they're, things like this. they're friends and family. You know, they're they're in your address book for a reason. It's because you know them and you want to keep in contact with them. It's supposed to be a, a an excuse for you to get in touch with everybody and say hello, and then you can do it again when you leave college. I don't want to do that a second time. That's not great to do. Okay, well, you're, um, you're going to because I'm changing your number today. So I, I have zero opinion on this. It is just you changed my number. I can't do anything. Correct. So I, I have no option whatsoever. Well, it just you bothers just me, okay? Control. It just bothers me. It's in there on your account, and, and I know it's not the right okay. area code. Can I have your name? Uh, it's uh, Grega. It's what? Grega. Grega? Yes. G R E G A. And what's your last name? Oh no, it's G R E G G. Oh. G R E D? No, G R E G G. It's Greg with two G's. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. Okay. No, no it's Grega. And then it's Grega, there's two G's, sir. There's G R E G G A. It's Grega. Yeah, G G G A. Like, okay, like, great. Like and then what's G, your last name? Like Nat. Okay, I got it. All right, like, l- hey, why do you have that pencil there? Why don't you write down this new phone number I've got for you? It's area code five yeah, seven. Can I get your full name, please? Five so? seven three. Do you have any preference on uh, which digits you'd like after five seven three? So five. Se- so I can I do five seven three or no? No, no, I don't want to. Like, uh, that'll confuse me because that's an area code. I try not to put area codes in where the prefixes go. Okay. Then why don't we do 314? Okay, well, that's confusing, too, because that's, uh, that's the St. Louis, uh, Missouri area code. You're, you're just, oh, I didn't you're just trying that. to irritate me, I think. Yeah, 314 I seriously St. Louis. am not. Again, I'm not from Missouri. I don't know what these area codes are. Well, you know, 314 is right there on the border of Illinois. Just a few hours south. I think I, you, I, I do not I, keep track of phone number area codes, but can I have your last name still? Oh, sure. It's Gerbel. Grega Gerbel. Can you spell that? Uh huh. T H A T. Okay. And uh, is it going to be a problem if your phone number has an extra digit in it? Like most phone numbers are 10 digits, you're going to have an 11 digit number. 
I mean, I prefer not, but wait, your last name is T H A T and then Oh no, my my last name is Jerbel. Oh, can you spell that? Yes. T T H A T. Look, man, I'm not trying to be a dick. This is just a thing that I have to deal with. I have to change my phone number. Can I can you spell the last name? Oh, you want you want to spell my last name? Yes, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a G G E R B I Z L L E. Okay. So why don't you just give me a phone number? Because I don't just give me something. Okay. I believe in you. All right. Uh, area code 573 005 31982. Great. And then what number do I call to get to like T-Mobile support? Well, you're going to, I, you need to know you have, you have to dial in like if people want to reach you, they have to dial in italics to reach you. What? They have to dial in italics. Like just have them, uh, you know, it's like the shift key from their dial page on their cell phone. Mm -hmm. So people from landlines won't be able to dial you. Because those don't have shift keys. Okay, so let, so in this this is a necessary thing. My phone number has to have all these numbers. Yeah, well, I wanted to have an extra digit. It's the latest thing in phone company technology is uh, giving you 11, 11 digits. Dude, why are you being a dick like this? I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's just this messes with a lot of stuff. Okay, well, uh, you know, it's not as big of a, deal, of a deal as you think, like... How long have you had this you number? You just said that you have to hit like an italic number. If I'm telling somebody my phone number, I have to tell them to use italics? Yes, italics. And they'll probably be confused because there's an extra digit. Just tell them that's normal now. That's the new phone numbers. 11 digits. Because they ran out, they're running out of phone numbers because of people like you that go out of state and keep their phone number. Dude, you know, I've been in college for a couple months, man. I don't see how this... Okay. That, what's the support number for T-Mobile? Ah, uh, I don't like uh one eight 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 six 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 forty six hundred. That's what it was five years ago. I haven't dialed in a long time. Just try that. Great. Well, this was an awesome experience. Okay, are you angry? Hey, <laughs> this guy needs to be taught some manners. Yes, Zach. I just called you on your new phone number. It works. The five seven three number works. That's. Awesome. Okay. Uh, when, so if someone calls my old number, what happens? Uh, it's going to say this number has been disconnected due to non-payment. Great. That's the that's the message I chose. Hey, when you hung up earlier, you didn't say goodbye. Right, so this is. I said this has been great. You said, hey, this guy's just being an asshole. Hi, how can I help you? Hey, I wanted to let you know that um, I'm able to, to dial in italics. Because I'm calling from the phone company. But anyone else, you know, if they're not using a cell phone, they can't do the italics. Awesome. Like I said, thanks. Okay, I'm going to talk to the mobile people. Can, can you say goodbye and, hey, Zach has the worst manners. So I can't wait to see what kind of messages I get from Zach after he discovers this isn't real. Oh, and there's an Instagram post associated with this. Oh, yeah, he's recruiting for his uh, fraternity. He is the recruitment officer. And his phone number is right in the middle of the ad, too. So I should call him up. I mean, I should leave a comment on this Instagram post and be like, hey, this phone number, when I call it, it says it's disconnected due to non-payment. That's weird. But no, I'm not going to do that. I don't want any trouble. I don't need the beta, beta, kappa, kappas coming after me or whatever he is. Here's a number change request from Wheels. Hello, Sebastian. Hey, Sebastian. This is uh, Steve Dave from... T-Mobile, I'm calling to let you know we're changing your phone number today. I'm changing my phone number? Yeah, this uh, 78. We're going to be changing that to a brand new phone number. Can I ask why? Um, I was just in your account monkeying around and I ended up changing the phone number. I was just doing some practice stuff. But I don't know how to change it back. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, complete the sequence here. And do you have a pen or a pencil to write down your new number? It's a joke, right? Oh, no. No, I wouldn't kid, sir. I'm a Christian. You have a way to prove that this is real? Oh, sure. Uh, you can have someone dial your old number, 
and they will tell you that there's a disconnected recording on it now. But if you call them up uh, with your new phone number, they'll see it on their caller ID, and you'll know what it is if you want to just get it that way. It's got a different area code now. I have a different area code now. Yes, uh, it's got the 416 area code. That's up in Canada. Sir? Sir? Sir, hello? Why'd you get all quiet? I can still hear you breathing. Yeah, I'm just like... Okay, it's just a little weird that you're just getting all quiet. Yeah, this is... Yeah, that's weird that my number changed. Anyway, uh, do you have a pen or a pencil? And I can go ahead and give you that new number. No, actually, I do not have a pen or pencil on me right now. Okay. How come you mumbled that? You got really mumbly when you said that last sentence. I'm sorry, Wheels. Sebastian didn't want to talk to me, really, I guess. He didn't like me making fun of his mumbling. Oh, crud, here's a call coming in. I have no idea what it is. Hello? Yes, I had uh, two missed calls from this number today. Oh, yeah, I was making prank calls earlier. I think I oh, was okay. I think I was going to tell you that I changed your phone number and I'm with your wireless carrier. That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, it would have got you good. Yeah. I'll try it again uh, some other day, maybe. Sir? Hello? Why are you being so quiet? Sir? Hello? Hello, I can hear you breathing over there. Why are you giving me attitude? Sir? Hello? Why do you keep saying hello when I say sir? So I'll tell you what. What? You tell me. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and tell me you, what. You tell me. Oh, no. You, you tell me. You tell me what. You said you are going to tell me what. I'd like to hear you tell me what. I'll give you $500 if you tell me what. Sir! You, you don't even have $500, dude. Oh, yes, I do. I have damn near six hundred and ten dollars. Must be nice. Yeah, but you feel stupid now, don't you? No, oh, trust me, I'm nowhere near stupid. I trust you. You suck dick. Sometimes. Mm -mm. Oh, that's you, good for you. You want me to suck yours? Nope. Hey, how about if I come over there and I kiss you in the mouth? No, you're good. Oh no, no! I'm gonna come over there and I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth, and then I'm gonna. Uh, you come on, you come right on over. Well, you I'm come a... right on over, sir. I want to suck your dick. I'm gonna kiss you on the uh, mouth, you... and then I'm gonna suck your dick. No. And I'm gonna look in your eyes, and I'm gonna tell you I love you. Huh. And I'm gonna touch you. you. Do that. I'm gonna touch you, you softly on the I'll shoulder. Tell you what. What? I'll tell you what. What? So, you go. You come to. Uh, 620 Street. 620 Street, Kentucky. You come on over. That's not your address. Street. That's not your address. Why well, isn't it? That just doesn't sound like your address. I've got your address right here, buddy. Yeah. Like, why didn't you want to give me your real address? Because I really do want to come over and kiss you in the mouth. No. I already have your address. You don't have to give it to me. Well, you don't have my address. Oh, yes, I do. If you did, you would know of a six street. I know. I was just messing with you. I know. I'm going to come over, and I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. You do You do that. I'll be waiting for you. And you got about 40 minutes. Why 40 minutes? Well, that should be about enough time for you to get here. I can get there in 20 minutes, motherfucker. Well, you come on in 20 minutes then. Should I, should I bring anything with me? Like uh, w w wine coolers or condoms. You 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 bring whatever you want to bring. Chocolates. You bring whatever you want to bring. Six Street. Can I bring some of my laundry? Because my washing machine's been broke, yeah. broken. Yeah, you can you can do that. You can do that. Okay, thank you. Um, can you and I sit on top of the washing machine together and make out? 
And if you think you can get in the house to do that, yeah, you're more than welcome. Well, I thought you were going to let me in. I thought you were going to let me in. No, I just told you to show up. Oh, well, wait, you, so you don't even want to make out? You don't want me to, you don't want me to suck your dick. You're the one that brought it up. You know, you you brought it up. You're like, "Hey, hey, hey buddy, do you suck dick?" Like you're real interested. Nope. So so look, I don't just come up and suck dick. I got to get to know you. Uh, I, I want to kiss uh, I want to kiss see, you on the mouth first. I want to yeah, I want to go un, right ahead. I want to go un, right ahead. 6 <laughs> Street, bitch. 6 <laughs> Street. Come on. Oh no, you're going to be the bitch in this relationship. I'm going to be the dominant one. Sir, I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you, bitch. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be waiting for street. Waiting for Six my wait, street, motherfucker. Waiting for my kisses. Six street. Oh, that's just gonna be a bunch of beeping there because he just kept repeating his address over and over and over. That's what all the beeping was about. If that happened to uh, sound weird. Hello. Hi, Damiana. Who's calling? Oh, this is Kevin from Metro PCS. I was, call- yes. I was calling. I was calling to let you know we're going to be giving you a new phone number today. This one two eight. This one two eight seven huh? is going to. This one two eight seven is going to change. We're changing it to a new phone number. What number do I say? Oh, uh, we're sorry. we're giving you a brand new phone number. Uh huh. So this old number. Give me a second, please. Your old Give number. Give me a second, please. Hey. Give me a second, please. Raquel, tú, eh, tú cambiaste tu teléfono. Mira a ver qué es lo que All right, just, just one. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Hello? Yes. yes. I'm calling from Metro PCS. Okay. Is um I'm I'm letting I'm calling to change your phone number. This one two eight seven. You're gonna get a brand new phone Why number. Why are you calling to change the number? Uh, cause I, I was monkeying around in Damiana's account and I accidentally changed it. Okay. Well, unfortunately that's my number and it's been my number for years and that's going to be the number that I'm going to be keeping. So wait, I'm not wait, sure. That other lady said she's Damiana. Who's Damiana? Who are you? Well, this is Kevin from Metro PCS. Well, what's your reference number? Anything? I mean, how are you calling from Metro PCS? What's your reference number? I'm calling from the call center. I'm just calling to let you know I'm changing the phone number. This one two eight seven is not going to work after this call. So, do you have a pen or a pencil to write down the new phone number? Okay, but I'm not understanding how you guys could just take the authority to go ahead and change my number. Well, we own the number. You know, like it's uh, it's not your number. You just you're just borrowing it from us. So I was okay. In- it's not a, It's not about the fact that I'm just borrowing it from you guys. If I'm paying my bill, I have the right to the number. If I've been consistent on my bill, I have the right to the number. Is there anybody higher above than yourself that I can speak to? Listen here, what lady. Your name? You're still going to have a phone number. It's just going to be a different one. So calm down. I don't think you're from Metro PCS. The way that you're talking, you're extremely uneducated. You're not a Metro PCS. What? No, person. I was just imitating how you're I'm talking. Not sure what exactly you're, you're getting an attitude with me, want. lady. I'm not sure what information you want, but here you would not be retrieving any information. I'm not trying like to retrieve to information. I'm just trying to Excuse give you your man. new phone Excuse number. Little boy, you I would like to idiot. To somebody above you, please. Okay, I'll I'll transfer you to Carol. That's Thank my, you. That's my supervisor. Just a minute. He's not from Metro PCS. I don't know who this lying piece of shit is, but he's not. Hello, this His is Carol. Can I help you? Yes, Carol. Yes. What do you work for and what's your reference number? Uh, I work for the prank call call center. And a reference number, uh, that doesn't make any sense. You work for who? What do you mean a reference number? Like you, who you do might you work ask, for? You might ask for an employee number or... Who do you, you work for? Who I, did you say you work for? Listen here, lady. Lady, I work for the prank no, no, call no, no. call you center. listen here. You guys are sitting here trying to scam people out of their calls. Trying, out of their we're money. not trying to scam shit, lady. Look, well, you're a stupid motherfucker. You're not real, so you're not getting no information from here. I, I didn't, didn't ask for any information. I, I didn't ask for anything. You stupid hoe. Your mother. Also, you have loud-ass kids in the background. Tell them to shut up. 
And you have a monkey motherfucker that's trying to play games on my phone with no damn money. Get a job, bitch. Okay. Find something real. This is not an income. You're a liar on who you are. Prank call your stupid ass mother, bitch. I, I'm not allowed to prank call my mother. We just prank call random people here. Do you know why? Go to hell, you and your whole family. Oh, go my God. Hell. Tell those right kids. Right now. Tell those go kids. Go to hell right now. Tell those kids right in the background just to, to shut up. In Jesus' name, go to hell. No. No, I won't go to hell. In Jesus' name, go to hell. Oh, in Jesus' name, I'm going to go to heaven. Ma'am, I'm going to heaven. You can't stop me. I think she hung up. Oh, yeah, it's totally disconnected. I'm just talking to myself like an idiot. So I think that was a very empowering call for them. They think they thwarted the scam caller, trying to scam all of their information out of them. And I'm pretty sure that's a good one to end on. I got yelled at pretty good there. I'm kind of happy with that. So I think that's where I'm going to end today's show. Except it's not ending yet because I'm going to play a couple voicemails first. Hey, Brad. Hey. Uh, I just wanted to say hello. Uh, really love your show. Hello. I don't really have much else to say, but I'm calling from South Carolina, and it's always a good show when you call those apartment buildings. Thanks so much, Cactus Cactus. Hopefully you like today's show, then. I called up a few apartment buildings. I'm not going to say who I am, and I don't care if I'm in there. Okay. But I don't care if it was a cliche attempt at not being a cliche attempt. I don't listen to your show. I also listen to your show. And it's below 30 seconds, so you can't complain. It's 38 yeah. seconds. Fuck off. Thanks for the show. You're welcome. No, no thanks for the show. You're welcome anyway. I guess it was 30 seconds, but then there's like 8 seconds of silence, and I count that. Hey, Brad. It's Buckshot. Hey, Buckshot. Um, I have a headache thanks to you. Oh, no. In episode 564, you played the pan lady as the intro and gave me a goddamn headache. Oh, she's the best. I was calling. I would like for you to reimburse me the uh, 35 cents in ibuprofen. Okay. And uh, if you could just do that, my credit card number. I'll do it. 766-622. Q, Keep going. Four, seven. Mm -hmm. This joke's gonna go nowhere. Have a nice day. All right, bye. Sorry about your headache. Oh, 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 oh yes, hi. I have a 30-inch long, and uh, this is Corbin Guy, and I'm calling you to listen to some Rappy McRapperson with me. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch hey, thanks, Corbin Guy. I think we all enjoyed listening to Rappy with you. RBCP, this is erratic. Hey, Just what gonna is? Just say, you should pull up that old uh, phone loser's phone book text file and uh, maybe call up Linda at the Waffle House. What, is she still there? Because that'd be weird if she's still there. And you know what? I don't have to pull up the text file. I know where the Waffle House is located. I could just look it up on Google. But I just called it and nobody's answering. And it is, uh, you know, I think around midnight over there, so maybe they just don't want to answer the phone right now. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Thwack from Australia. Hey. Um, I just wanted to say that you, your show is awesome, and me and my family listen to it. Why, thank you. And we all just think it's hilarious. We love Carol. Um, I just had a quick question. Uh, there's a show that you did about 12 months ago called All the Way in New Bedford. I can't remember the number. There's a song at the end of it. That was longer than 12 months ago. It was like five years ago, wasn't it? Cover of a bone cage song. And you say it's by Eric B. I cannot find it anywhere. It's awesome. I just wondered if you could point me in the right direction so I can listen to it without having to go to the website. Uh, probably. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, wait a minute. You probably mean Eric B. in our community. Here, let me just type in Eric B. where I keep all my music. I'm guessing it's the metal version of Charlie. Oh yeah, there it is. Charlie Loves You, metal version by Eric B. I think I'll try to make that today's ending song. Look in the show notes of this show, you know, the description on YouTube or on snowplowshow.com, maybe other places, I don't know. And I'll put a link in there where you can just download it directly from my own Dropbox. Hi Brad, you son of a bitch. This is Stacy. Hey. hey, I just wanted to let you know, I was telling a co-worker to listen to the Snowplow show, and it was really good. 
And you know what he said? He said, I've listened to Brad Carter before, and he eats shit sandwiches. I said, that's not true. Brad doesn't like bread. So I stuck up for you. Love you, Brad. Oh, thank you. That was very nice of you. I appreciate it. Okay, last voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's Copper Dan, but a long time. I got a question for you. I was just listening to the September 8th, 2018 podcast where some some joker in Nebraska lined the whole street with Dingtember uh, notes. Yeah. I was wondering if you ever found out who that was. All right? No. Good day, Brad. I don't know, but I remember there was a really funny news story associated with it, and I wanted to read it on the show when that happened. Maybe I did. I can't remember, but I'm sure uh, I was like reluctant to laugh along with it and everything because I was on probation. So maybe one of you can find that article from a couple years ago when I gave up on Ding Timber forever. We're going to do some version of Ding Timber this year, I promise you guys. For 2023, we're going to get so sick of Ding Timber calls. So thank you everybody for listening to today's show. It's been sponsored by Basket of Grapes, Despicable Dogs, ZTK, Synthhead, and Cody No Name. If you'd like to support the show, there are ways to support the show. There's links in the description to Patreon and Spotify and Apple. Those are the three ways to support the show right now. Thanks everybody for doing that. I will see y'all next time. Hey Sue, I'm Charlie. I couldn't help but see you sitting here alone. Oh, hey Sue, can I call you? Don't worry about it, because you got the wrong person, Mr. Leo. <laughs>